If you've been looking around for a digital planner for 2023, this is one that I am massively excited to share with you guys because it has been such a work in progress for the last few months and I am very proud that it is officially ready for you guys. So we're just going to do a quick tour of the planner so you'll see all that there is available, everything you can do with it, and so on and so forth. All right, so starting off, the first thing we're going to go through is this Binder Ring Center, this is where you can tap to get to your index page, and that is where you can see literally everything that is in the planner. So you'll have your notes section, your custom area, your goals, health, emergency, and pretty much anything you can think of in the planner can be accessible from this page. Now the planner is a monthly, weekly, and daily, so you'll have all of those pages, and we're just going to go through each of the pages that are in the planner so you can see what is available. All right, starting off with the tabs on this side here. These are your monthly tabs. They'll go to the monthly page. Each month comes with the monthly spread, then the weekly spreads, and then the daily spreads come right after. So on your monthly, as you can see, this one is dated. This planner is also available in an undated format. And the one that I'm looking at right now is a Sunday start, but the planner comes in a Monday start as well, both dated and undated. So no matter what kind you prefer, each are available in the same purchase. So you don't have to hunt around for one or the other. Now on the monthly page, these the dates are linked and the weeks are linked on the side. So if you wanna to get to the week of the 8th of January, you'll just tap here and it'll go to the week. And then from the weekly as well as the daily, you can get to the daily pages by either using these links, the date number, or you can come over here to the calendar. And either way, it'll work. So let's go to our daily page. And here we go. Any of the links on the pages will be up in the top part of the planner just to make things easy and not too complicated. Um, and you can get to each month section with the tabs on the side. Okay, next up we're going to come up here and go through each of these icons at the top. This one is just the welcome page with a little note by me because I love leaving those in there. It's always nice, frankly, but you could always just ignore that page once you've read it once. Then you have your notes section. You have thin lined, you have wide lines, dotted pages, Cornell, Cornell dotted, lined, and then blank pages and you can tap on each one to get to them and each notes section has five of the pages and you can duplicate them as needed or desired or just remove them or completely ignore them then you have your um, vision board this goes to the vision board as you can see here i've made it a little i've I outlined it just to help you with a little bit of guidance you can completely ignore the lines if you want and place your photos, images, ideas, stickers, wherever you want. But this was just a nice way to have it a bit organized and also still remain cute. Okay, then you have an emergency information page. I think that's always really important to have your emergency contacts, your medical information, if you have any allergies, um, and then if you have any current medication that you're taking, because from experience, if you're in, ever in an emergency, those are the kind, that's the kind of information that will be asked. Okay, then up here next, you have your health section. In the health section, you have medical appointments. So doctor's appointments, you can schedule them here. You also have in this section, your health check. And you have your medical information. So this is not necessarily all of your emergency info because the emergency info also has contact, but this is more you know, for your health and all that. Next section, you have your travel area. So there are quite a few pages in here. Flight info, travel route, food to try, things to do, places, cities, countries, travel itinerary, and checklist. So let's just give that a quick look. You've got your flight info, travel route. I'm literally just gonna go by one page. Foods to try, places to go, cities, countries, travel itinerary, checklist, and I, that's the last one there. Okay, next we're going to go to the finance section. There are quite a few pages in here. You've got a monthly budget, income tracker, expense tracker, payday tracker, savings tracker. We've also got a savings challenges page and then a debt payment tracker down there. So let's see the monthly budget. 
and the monthly budget, you can also see there are links up here to each of the finance sections within the month. And you can also get back to the month from this page. I've made these as, um, what is the word I'm using? Well, easy to use, but also comprehensive so that it's not too overwhelming, but you can still have as much information in here as you would like and do as much planning as you need. Right back to here. Let's look at the income tracker. Here's your income tracker page. There's also the expense tracker. I'm just picking a random month. Payday tracker. The payday one, it's all the months are on one page because I would typically you wouldn't need that. You wouldn't need an entire page for a payday tracker. So here we go. Then we have what is it that I'm looking for? Savings tracker. And lastly, oh, not lastly, savings challenges. I actually really love savings challenges. I'm thinking of making a whole book full of savings challenges, but for now, it's just those two pages. Then you have your last debt payment tracker. All right, on to the next. You have the calendar one here that will take you to your calendar, your yearly overview. And here you have your calendar section and then any year plans you want to have a focus on, you can put them over here. Next up here is the meals. So nutrition, recipes, and then your weekly meal plan. Each of these will just go to the first week of each month. And then from there on, you can go as follows. So you've got your nutrition page, then I believe your meal planner. And the other one is your recipes. And you can rate your recipes once you've tried them a few times because you know you always have your favorites and then ones that are just like meh like this is a quick recipe but i don't really absolutely love it all right next up here you have your lists so to-do list shopping list and contacts so to-do list pretty simple straightforward shopping list and it's sectioned off so if you want to have different areas that you're shopping for and your contacts now the contacts page it's alphabetically organized obviously you don't have to follow it that way if you don't want to you can sort of just do one two three but it is easier to have it alphabetically organized you can tap on any of the letters and it'll go to that page there is the marker up here as well as over here and on the page itself up here is the link that will take you to any of the sections within the contact so let's go to a t and then you know so and so on and so forth all right, next you have your brain dump. So you have a brain dump page, pretty blank, nothing to see here. And then you also have the brain dump thought sheet. So this is just to help you come up with ideas if there's anything that sparks in your brain. And there's a sp space over here for you to put your own um, ideas. All right, and last of the icons, we have your fitness tracker, we have a workout, workout planner, fitness challenge, fasting tracker, and then steps tracker. So the workout planner is here. The, where am I going? Here. <laughs> fitness challenge. There's a blank page over here so you can have your own 30 day fitness challenge. And then here's one that is filled out just to help you kind of get an idea of what to do with the fitness challenge. Okay, and then we're gonna go to fasting tracker. It's pretty simple and straightforward. It also gives you space to reflect and then the steps tracker. All right, next we're gonna go over to leisure. It has your shows and movies, reading list, podcast, shows and movies. Absolutely love this. You can write them down, then rate them, watch again, or absolutely no. Reading list and your podcast, if you're into podcasts, which I absolutely love. Oh, next, wellness. So you have Calm Playlist, Gratitude, Self-Care, Reflection, and Mental Health Check, which I absolutely love. So here's a space for your playlist. Oop, that's not where I'm meant to go. Wellness. Gratitude. The gratitude is braided. It's monthly. So each month there's a line a day. So you can put something you're grateful for every day of the month. And then you have your top three. Went well, well, reflection area down here. And I absolutely really love a line a day. So it keeps things pretty simple. It makes you come back and look at all the things you can be thankful for one day at a time. Um, Self-care, your self-care section. You also have your reflection. It's always good to 
take some time and reflect, and then a mental health check, which is massively important. All right, then we're gonna go over to trackers, mood tracker, habit tracker, passwords, sleep tracker, chore tracker, symptom tracker, period tracker, and your stress tracker. My personal favorite is definitely the mood tracker. I just absolutely love tracking my mood. Um, it's pretty simple. Monthly, you can navigate through each month up here. Same with the habit tracker. You can also navigate through the months here and then there's space to reflect. Um, then we're going to go to passwords. The password setup is similar to the contacts. You'll have your section over here. Then you also have navigation up here. Next up, we're going to go to, oh, oh, is it passwords? Sleep tracker. Then we have our chores. Uh, symptom tracker, period tracker, and lastly, stress tracker. All right, next, the goals section, the vision board, which you've seen already, yearly goals, bucket list, and your monthly goals. So we've got your vision board, which you've seen. You also have the yearly goals, so you can come in here and set your goals for the year. Then you have your bucket list items and your monthly goals. And I really love the monthly goal setup. So you can have your steps, the breakdown, and then you have space to track your progress. All right, that is it for those. Over here on this side, you have space for your stickers. Now, for me personally, I prefer to keep my stickers elsewhere just because the more stuff you have in your planner, the slower it gets. But if you do want to keep your stickers in your planner itself, there's a space for it. it has a whole page. You can duplicate pages after this so that you can have more stickers in here if you want. There's also a link over here for templates. Every template in the planner is on this is in this section. This is just meant so that if you want to have a duplicate of a page without actually copying the other one that you have, these are completely blank. They are fresh start, so you have the monthly with absolutely nothing on it. Um, so there's a bunch of options in here. It's pretty much all the templates, and you can copy and place them wherever you want in the planner. Okay, next thing here, you have six custom sections. They are completely blank sections on your index page. You can name them. There's also um, the custom space here. You can name what each section is and use the links here to get to them. Now, it's completely blank, so there's space you can do whatever you want with them. There is a marker in the top corner to let you know what section you're in. I wanted to make it so that it wasn't in the way, but you also have a marker there to let you know where you are in the planner. And I think that is it for all of the items, all the pages in your planner. You can see everything. One other thing um, I will say, the planner does come with a bundle of covers and stickers. There are so many cover options, it's actually ridiculous. I believe there are 225 horizontal covers and 225 vertical covers. So oh, this one's my personal favorite, but you have a plenty of options. Let's just do this so you can see there's so many options for covers if you want to change between them and you don't have to limit it to just this planner so you can use them with this planner or you can use them with another planner that you have so here we go a look at the vertical versions if you prefer to keep your covers in the vertical arena because i know sometimes even though my planner might be horizontal you just might want to keep everything vertical in the library oh this one's cute Okay, um, all right, and then the other thing to show you guys, this is what the undated planner looks like. So here, you'll still have the links here that will go, no, that'll go to the weeks um, for the, oops, I did not mean to do that, <laughs> on the planner. Now, since it is undated and we still wanna have the links, all the days will be up here. So for January, all of the, the date links will be up here. In the weeks, the date links will be on the side Again, over here, you just won't see the Monday, Monday through Sunday. And it, again, like I said, it comes in Monday and Sunday version, whether it is dated or undated. You still have your links to each section 
and there you go that's what that one looks like now the last thing for the stickers there are a bunch of stickers that this comes with it comes with about a thousand plus stickers i keep them um for me i don't keep my stickers on the ipad itself because that just i think it takes away too much space so when you after your purchase, this is the page that you'll be linked to. So this is where you can download all of your options. You have your planners, and then you have the stickers, not stickers, the covers, and then the stickers are all going to be in this folder up here. You can download the folder and have everything if you want to download it, or you can do what I do and just use the stickers directly from uh, Drive, which you can do drag into your um, planner straight from drive so that you don't have to worry about the space or you can get it you can download the zip folders <laughs> so plenty of options depending on what you prefer to do but you've got your washi tapes flags icons tools um, lists photo frames numbers and more numbers <laughs> down here and then trackers so there's let me see can i show you guys sometimes this is it doesn't really show you We've got some stickers these are well, this is washi tape sometimes you can't really see everything in um what is this called drive without opening it but this is what we are working with and they come in four colors icons they come in i think four or five colors i'm not sure <laughs> i'm gonna say four colors to be on the safe side and they're all colors that match with the planner. Okay, let's go to the tools here. So we've got some of the tools. And that's not really clearly visible. Uh, oops. And let's go to some numbers. We've got some heart shaped numbers. We've got some heart shaped numbers. We've got some circle shaped numbers. And in all, again, in several colors, you've got photo frames in here in different colors as well. And this is not, oh, <laughs> it's black. I clicked on the black version and it's okay. It was showing as if nothing was there because I clicked on the black color. Um, here you go. <laughs> this is what you were supposed to be seeing. Frames. several different frames i love this one my favorite so yeah there are tons of sticker options that you can play around with and use wherever you would like okay that is it for this tour i hope this has been helpful um if you um if you end up using the planner do let me know and please feel free to reach out to me on social media or email if you have any questions if there are any templates that you would like to see added to this planner or if there's any feedback that you would like to share with me and i will see you guys in the next video happy planning